Hi everybody, this is a board called Lafrit with iMogic system on the chip. It boots thanks to the open source bootloader Dasu Boot, which is stored in this little chip on the back of the board. This is Spine Nor Flash. In this quick video tutorial, I'll show you two methods how to flush newer U boot version on the SPI Nor Flash of this board. Here's a closer look of the Lafrit development board. It features iMLogic S805X system on a chip. I purchased a version with 1GB of RAM memory. On the back of the board, there is a NOR flash memory that stores the bootloader. It is connected over the serial peripheral interface, also known as SPI. This chip has been manufactured by Giga Devices. Uh, the global distributor Mauser has it in its catalog, although it's non-stocked, and there is a datasheet where we can learn more details about it. The memory size is 128 megabits, or in other words, 16 megabytes. I ordered this Libre Computer Lafrit development board from a crowdfunding campaign back at the end of 2018. It was delivered in mid-2019, and actually, nowadays, in 2025, it's still available on the market and you can purchase it. However, a lot of things have changed. Most of the existing tutorials are outdated, there are a lot of broken links. Because of this, I want to make this quick video to simplify the process of updating the U-Boot bootloader for existing owners. If you don't have this board, don't worry, this video probably will still be interesting because it will help you understand how things work. Nowadays, a lot of development boards based on ARM 64-bit uh, system on a chip rely on storing the bootloader in SPI NOR flash. The first method that I'm going to explain you for updating the bootloader of this particular board is using a USB stick. Actually, both methods will require monitoring the serial output from the board to note when uh, the update of the bootloader has been completed successfully. Because of this, I'm going to use Raspberry Pi debug probe with Raspberry Pi RP2040 microcontroller for serial communication between a laptop and Lafrit development board. Of course, you can use any other kind of uh, USB uh, to UART debug bridge. For the first method that I'm going to demonstrate you for updating the U-Boot bootloader on the SPI NOR flash on Lafrit, we need a USB stick. I'm going to plug this USB stick in my computer because I'm going to flash a special image on it. Libre Computer provides pre-built binaries uh, on their website. Visit boot.librecomputer slash releases and select the board that you have. In my case, this is AML-S805X-AC. This corresponds to Lafrit. There are a bunch of files for the very first meta that I'm going to show you. I'm going to download just the IMG file. After downloading this file, I have to flush it on the USB stick. Um, I used BMAP copy from the terminal to flush it, however you can use any other application appropriate for flushing images to micro SD cards such as for example Balana Etcher which also has a graphical user interface. To get this image file please check the link in the description of the video. I launched a terminal application on my laptop that runs Ubuntu 24.04 and I executed the screen command to have the serial communication between the laptop and the Lafrit development board. The bolt rate is 115200. After that, connect the USB drive to the socket furthest from the GPO header of the Lafrit development board. Power on the board by connecting a micro USB cable with a power supply. After that, pay attention to the terminal and observe the output coming from the board. The current U-Boot version checks if the new image matches the existing firmware. If it does not, for example when it's newer as in our case, the firmware will be updated. Once you see a message in the terminal coming out from the serial communication with the Lafrit board that the firmware update has been successfully completed, power off the board and remove the USB stick. After that, you can boot the board again and see that you have the new version of the bootloader. The second method that I'm going to demonstrate you for updating the bootloader on Lafrit is using a USB cable and taking advantage of the USB 
on the go mode. This way the board will appear as a USB device on my computer and using some special scripts I'm going to flush the new version of the bootloader to the Spinor flush. Obviously for this method a USB cable is essential. I'm going to use USB type A to USB type C cable because my laptop has a USB C port. However you can also use USB type A to type A cable. Lafrit has two USB ports but only one of them is with USB on the go functionality therefore I'm going to use this port which is next to the GPIO header. Now on the software side I'm using Ubuntu 2404 and I'm going to open two terminals one is for the serial communication that I used in method one the second one is a terminal in which I'm first going to install Python 3 USB library and git. After that I'm going to download the open source project available in github called pyamlboot. However I'm going to clone the fork repository which is maintained by Libre Computer Project. In this repository I need to use branch gxl. The source code of this repository and the particular branch that we're using contains a bash script called flash firmware which takes care of obviously flashing the uboot uh, bootloader binary to the board. The next step is to download the pre-compiled uboot binary which has extension .bin and it's available on the same web server that I've used in method 1 which is boot.libre.computer. For this method it's very important how to turn on the board. There is a button called uboot. Press and hold it while plugging in the micro USB cable attached to a USB power supply. I repeat press and hold this boot button while you're powering on the board. The button is located next to the USB ports on the edge of the printed circuit board of the Lafrit development board. Once you do this, the board will appear as a USB storage device on your uh, computer. Uh, you can verify this with the LS USB command as I did in this video. If everything is ok and you have successfully booted Lafrit in USB mode, in the output of LSUSB you will see a device which is uh, listed as I'm logic. This is the development board. The last step is to execute file flash-firmware.sh from pi AML boot, this is the bar script that we've discussed, and provide as an argument the full path, not the relative, but the absolute full path to the uboot binary that we've downloaded it on the previous step. By the way, the script is also capable of automatically downloading the latest uboot version, however, it's um, using the old URL which is broken. I've opened a GitHub pull request to fix this. Once I execute this script, the whole procedure will take a few seconds. However, I have to keep an eye on the serial output coming from the Lafrit development board because it contains the information to identify whether the uh, uboot upgrade is successful. Because of this, I have opened a second terminal in which I'm observing the serial communication and in it, you can spot the message that indicates the successful update of the uboot boot. At this stage I can safely turn off the Lafrit development board. There are a lot of different Linux distributions that you can run on Lafrit. However, for testing purposes I've built my own using the Yocto project and open embedded. This is a very minimal image that I'm going to use just to verify that the board boots. The Spinor flash obviously has a very limited memory because of this we flash just the uboot bootloader to it. If we want to boot a proper operating system on Lafrit we have to either use the USB uh, connector with a USB stick or to attach an eMMC module to the eMMC interface on the back of the board. In this case I have already built an image with the Yocto project and open embedded using the Meta Meson BSP layer and I flashed it on a USB stick. So I'm going to use this USB stick to boot from it uh, the operating system. This small image is based on the latest release of the Yocto project called Wona from April 2025. If you're not familiar with the Yocto project and Open Embedded but you want to learn more about these technologies, please have a look at my video series about the Yocto project on Raspberry Pi 5. At the end of the video, let me summarize. There are two different methods for upgrading the U-Boot bootloader on Lafrit. Method 1 is for intermediate users, it's relatively more simple using a USB stick. And method 2 is more advanced as you have to put the board in USB boot mode. 
Well, the test is successful. I have a newer version of U-Boot and I was able to boot my simple image built with the Yoktu project and open embed it. By the way, if you're a developer interested in learning more about the Yoktu project and building your own custom Linux distributions, have a look at my tutorials about it on Raspberry Pi 5. I hope this video was interesting and useful. If so, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to my YouTube channel. Stay tuned for new videos. See you soon.